So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna scroll down a little bit until you find background attendant transfer service. You're gonna double click on it. Make sure that the startup type is on automatic and that the service status is running. So click on start, which will then make the service status running. And then click on okay. Then you wanna click on restart the service. And now you wanna scroll down a little bit more until you find cryptographic services. Do the same thing, double click on it. Startup type, automatic, service status running. Click on start, which will make it running. And then click on okay. And then click on restart the service. And then click on yes. And now for the last one, you wanna click on any service and then click on W on your keyboard. You wanna scroll down till you find Windows Update. Do the same thing, double click on it. Startup type, automatic, service status running. Click on start, which will make it running. Click on okay. And then click on restart the service. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you're gonna type in ipconfig space full slash flush DNS, click on enter. And then you're gonna type in netsh space winsock space reset, click on enter again. And then once you do all these steps in the video, you just wanna restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.